good morning students uh, welcome back to the online session after a long duration so in this session we'll be discussing about uh, full section elevation and uh, full section plan of single phase shell type transformer so far what we discussed it is all about core type transformer we discussed uh, how to develop full section plan and elevation and then off section plan and elevation of a single phase and then three phase core type transformer but in this session we'll be discussing about uh, shell type transformer so before going with an uh, example uh, let us brief about uh, construction details of shell type transformer this is what you are seeing now it is a single phase uh, shell type transformer so you can see here uh, the width of the central limb is twice the width of the side limbs and this is what your core so in this core we will be having a central limb and these are the outer limbs okay and the width of the central limb is twice the width of the outer limbs and this is the part yoke the horizontal portion is nothing but an yoke and the vertical portion is called limb or leg and uh, this is core material and coming to the winding so in this usually we are going to use a rectangular shape winding whereas in case of core type we will be using cylindrical type windings but here we will be using a rectangular core type uh, rectangular type windings this is what your rectangular type windings and the same here you can see the rectangular and uh, this is what inside rectangle and this is the outside rectangle clear this is the inside rectangle and this is the outside rectangle and this will give you the thickness actually this is what the thickness this is what your single rectangular coil okay and if you try to view this rectangular coil from the top and as well as from the front in order to develop a section plan and then elevation uh, if you want to see this from the top view so it looks like this right you can you can able to see the inside rectangle and as well as the outside rectangle from the top view this is nothing your top view this is nothing your inside rectangle and this is what your outside rectangle and if you want to see this from the front you can only able to see this portion it means the thickness right this is what uh, the thickness of this uh, rectangular coil okay and uh, one more thing both the hv and the lv winding will be wound on central limb in cell type transform and it is sandwich in type you can see in this uh, diagram it is sandwich it means alternatively placed hv and then lv are alternatively alternatively placed and this is what uh, the cut section cut section elevation of a single phase core shell type transformer okay and here we have uh, three alternate lv and then uh, hv layers right and between the windings you can see the gaps for an insulation and of course there will be some gap between the windings and then the limb this this is what the gap again it is for insulation purpose clear so with this constructional details let us uh, develop or draw section plan and elevation of a shell type transformer so here i have an uh, exercise draw the section elevation and plan of a single phase shell type transformer for the following data so the ratings are given it is 125 kv and it is single phase coming to the core dimension width of the central limb is 14 cm overall height of the core is 38 cm overall width of the core is 54 cm and overall depth of the core is 37 cm and uh, window dimension is given 13 cross 24 width and then the height of the uh, window is also given and coming to the winding details we will be having 4 HV coils and then 4 LV coils which are placed alternatively that is what a sandwich type and uh, rectangular coil dimension it is rectangular in shape the coils are rectangular in shape therefore the inside rectangle dimension is 15 cross 41 and the outside rectangle is 35 into 57 and the thickness is what 2 cm and there will be an insulation between the coils as already uh, discussed there will be an insulation between HV and then LV so the thickness of that insulation between the coils is what 1 cm so for this problem I need to draw the sectional elevation and then section plan of a single phase uh, shell type transformer uh, so ok now uh, before going with uh, an AutoCAD tool we need to prepare a preparatory sketch for the given details so uh, this is what the given details about the core and then the winding so we know uh, the core of a single facial type transformer right the core of a single facial type transformer see 
uh, let me write the core so this is what uh, the core and here it is given the overall width of the transformer it is 54 centimeter this is your 54 centimeter that is the width and overall height of the transformer it is given it is 38 centimeter okay and the width of the central limb is given it is 14 centimeter okay and coming to the window dimension 13 cross 24 13 is nothing but the width of each window this is 13 and then 13 and the height of the transform sorry window is 24 and then what about the height of the yoke uh, so the overall height of the transformer is 38 and uh, in that the window height is 24 so 38 minus 24 is equals to 14 so 14 divided by 2 so 7 centimeter and then 7 centimeter right this is what uh, the preparatory sketch for the core okay and coming to the windings the windings are rectangular in shape right the windings are rectangular in shape so let me write a rectangle here this is the rectangular coil and this is the inner rectangle actually this is what your rectangular winding and the see this is what your thickness of the coil it is given thickness of the rectangular coil is 2 cm and the inside rectangle this is the inside rectangle so this inside rectangle this is 15 cm and the height of that rectangle is 41 cm and coming to the outside rectangle the width is 35 cm here it is given okay this is 35 and then the height of that rectangular coil is 57 cm okay and it is also given that the windings are placed alternatively and we will be having 4 HP coils and then 4 LV coils as we already know uh, the windings are wound on the central limb so it is sandwich in type and the thickness is 2 cm it means I should have 8 layers here so that is 4 LV and then 4 HV which are alternatively placed like this this is what your elevation this is what your elevation elevation is nothing but what a front view of single phase shell type transformer okay coming to the sectional plan for the sectional plan we supposed to consider consider the depth so the depth of the limb or the depth of the transformer is 37 centimeter okay so from the top what you can able to see from the top in this rectangular winding from the top you can able to see only this inner rectangle and as well as the outer rectangle right clear inner rectangle and then the outer rectangle so and the depth is nothing but 37 so let me have this is what uh, the transformer depth and the central limb width is 14 this is 14 and this is what your depth depth is nothing but 37 centimeter now what is the uh, winding width the inside winding it is 15 so I should draw a rectangular winding here which is wound on this central limb central limb okay and this is the inside rectangle and this is what the outside rectangle the dimension is given 15 and then 41 okay so from year to year it is 37 from year to year it will be 41 okay and again from year to year it will be 57 centimeter right you take an extensions and we also have side limbs for uh, single phase shell type transformer so but we don't have any windings in the shell in this so just write the limbs like this okay so the finished top view of uh, the given shell type transformer is this is the central limb okay and from here we'll be having side limbs okay this is the side limb this is the side limb and this is the central limb on central limb we'll be having a rectangular winding like this okay 
this is what your top view and is nothing but section plan what we did in code type transformer is first we draw section plan from the section plan we developed elevation but in shell type first we'll go with an elevation and from the elevation we are going to develop a sectional plan from the elevation we are going to develop a section plan of shell type transformer right okay now after the uh, preparatory sketch uh, we'll draw the section plan and elevation of a single phase shell type transformer using a cat tool so since all the given parameters are in centimeter therefore i will be selecting a units in centimeter itself right so now the first thing what in core type what we did actually we developed or we draw a section plan first and then we draw an elevation but now what we are doing in shell type is first we will draw the elevation and later on we will be uh, drawing what a section plan okay so uh, elevation in the sense i need to write a core circuit okay the overall width of the core is given it is uh, 54 and uh, overall height of the core is also given it is 38 so it looks like a rectangle otherwise okay so that i will be taking the rectangle first specify the first corner and here uh, instead of specifying the other corner i will be selecting the dimension so in this dimension the rectangle length it is nothing but here it is width it is 54 given and the rectangular width is nothing but a rectangular height here it is 38 okay so this is what the rectangle the outer layer of your shell type transformer then let me select it what is the width of the side limbs the width of the side central limb is 14 centimeter therefore the width of the side limb is 7 centimeter right so we already studied that the width of the central limb will be twice the width of the side limb so since it is 14 therefore the side will be 7 therefore i will be going with an offset and the distance will be 7 and the object will be the rectangle and it should be located inside the rectangle okay clear so now let me select control a and then explode it right what is the window width the window width is 13 mm so for that i will be go going with an offset the distance is 13 centimeter right from year to year it is 13 from year to year it is 13 now control a and then i will be trimming some unwanted portions in order to give a finishing touch yes this is what your magnetic circuit the side limb width is 7 centimeter and the central limb width is now it is 14 centimeter and the width of the window will be 13 centimeter this is what your magnetic circuit okay and what we are what we are drawing now it is a elevation of a shell type transformer okay now uh, both the hv and the lv windings are wound on the central limb now the width of the central limb is 14 and what is the width of the inside rectangle it is 15 mm it means this is 14 and uh, the inside rectangle is 15 the difference is 1 so 0.5 cm I need to move towards this side and another 0.5 cm I need to move towards this side so therefore I will be going with an offset again and the distance will be 0.5 okay from year to year and then from year to year therefore the overall width from this line to this line will be 15 centimeter right and what about the width of the outside rectangle <coughs> the width of the outside rectangle is what 35 okay 35 so the this is 15 35 means the difference is 20 right 35 minus 15 is 20 so 20 divided by 2 is 10 right so offset distance is 10 and here the object is inside rectangle layer this is okay this is what inside rectangle and this is the outside rectangle what we have drawn and uh, it is a sandwich type as we already discussed the windings are sandwich in type it means 4 hv and then 4 lv coils are alternatively placed and the thickness of each coil is 2 cm and the insulation between the coil will be 1 cm so therefore what i will be doing i will go with an offset the distance will be 2 cm why 2 cm because the thickness of the winding is 2 cm enter this is 2 cm right so control a let me trim this this is the unwanted portion actually right this is also an unwanted portion now again i should go and offset so after that 2 cm i will be having 1 cm of insulation right this is 1 cm so after that i will be having 
having what two centimeter of another winding okay and then one centimeter of insulation then again go for offset two centimeter of okay now if this is hv this is insulation lv hv lv hv lb it is alternatively placed let us go for hatching uh, i will be using different hatching for hv and then lv layers okay let it be this is for uh, lv if this is lv this will be hv lv 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 okay so this is what your lv winding so again i will be using different hatching pattern for hv windings okay now uh, we'll be using, we have used different hatching patterns for hv and then lv and it is alternatively placed you can count it 1 2 3 4 4 lv and another four or hv that is what alternatively placed clear okay just copy it and paste it from this point okay and uh, use shift key in order to move it uh, horizontally okay you place it here now this is what the winding for hv and then for lv play uh, lv windings which are placed alternatively and this is what your sectional elevation of a shell type transformer okay now i need to develop a section plan so in order to develop a section plan let me project a line from all these point downwards from the shell and from the hv outer and this is from the central line and do the same in the other side also okay now uh, what is the depth of the wind uh, depth of the winding sorry depth of the core the depth of the core is uh, 37 mm right the depth of the core is 37 m sorry yes 37 mm so i will going with offset and distance will be 37 and from year to year it will be 37 mm okay so let me extend all the lines up to this last line go for extend and select this as a target and then enter and now look at here look at the extension from the side limb will be the side limb and the extension from the central limb will be the central limb and extension from the outer and then inner rectangle is your air windings okay uh, now what is the length of the windings i mean the height of the inside dia height of the inside dia is 41 so this is 37 actually from year to year it is 37 but height of the inside rectangle is 41 so 41 minus 37 okay 41 minus 37 it is 4 cm and the i should have 2 cm here and then 2 cm here clear so what i will do control a and then trim you trim all these portions okay from year to year it will be 2 cm right 2 cm from year to year above and from year to below okay now go for extend select this and then this line enter you should project this inside rectangle up to that line okay this is what your inside rectangle and uh, control a and then go for trim i don't want line here here okay and i don't want this also okay now the inside rectangle is ready likewise uh, the height of the outside rectangle is 57 so this is 40 41 and the outside rectangle is 57 the difference will be what uh, 16 cm so 16 divided by 2 is 8 cm right so again i will be going with an offset 8 cm from here it is 8 not from here from here to here it is 8 cm from here to here it is 8 cm okay i need to 
okay now extend the outer rectangle up to that line outer rectangle means this is what the line this is the line okay and then now you can see this is what uh, the sectional plan this is the central limb side limbs and this is the inside rectangle and as well as the outside rectangle this is how the shell type transformer looks from the top view okay now i'll be going with an hatching in order to hatch the windings okay this is what the winding part let me hatch the side limbs too with a different hatching pattern The, this is the side limbs and this is the side limbs okay now you can see this is the elevation of a cell type transformer and this is what the sectional plan of your cell type transformer now let us go for the dimensions all the dimensions are linear here this is the width of the transformer and uh, this is height of the transformer 38 Okay, and uh, from year to year, it is depth of the core. It is 37, and then gap. This is what the insulation gap here. You can see between the windings. Okay, right. So this is what a sectional plan and the elevation of a shell type, single phase shell type transformer. So if you have any doubts, uh, go through this video and uh, comment below if you have any doubts thank you